Hi guys, so um, we're just going to run a few simple uh, tests on the computer. It's basically going to tell us if we're correct or if we're incorrect. I think of it as basically a little bit of a lie detector. <coughs> okay, so what we want to do in here, in these brackets, we're going to put out an equation or a just a simple statement that the computer is going to assess if it's true or if it's false. Now these are easily done with maths, math formulas and all that, so we're just going to do uh, 3 equals 2. Now we're going to want to end the line because we're going to do a few of these. And when we run this, 3 is not equal to 2, so the answer that we're expecting to get is well, is it zero? Because that's what we've got. Now, those of you might under know a little bit about binary, um, like ones and zero. Oh, sorry, that's ten. Um, ones and zeros. Now, basically, the port's open if it's got a one and it's closed if it's got a zero. Now, what we've done here is we've done an equation that is wrong. So it's saying that it's false. So the port is, so technically the port is not open for this. So it's telling us that it's incorrect. Now if we do a similar one, see out um, 3 is greater than 0 and, and line, we can run this one again and because 3 is greater than 0, we're going to get a 0 for the first one, which, as we know, is incorrect. 3 is not equal to 2. And 1 is greater than... Oh, and 3 is greater than 0. So we've got a 0 for the first one, and we've got a 1 for the second one. And now we've got an, we can start expanding on this just a little bit for now. Um, what if C... Is now this is might be a bit of a confusing one, but don't get concerned. It's not hard. Now what we're saying here is three is exclamation mark equal to zero. Now in this case, ex, the exclamation mark means not. So in this case, we're saying three is not equal to zero, which is true. So we expect to get another. 1, so it should be 0, 1, 1. Now, we've got two more of these. Um, C out. Um, 5 greater than or equal to 5. Now, we know that that one is true. Well, I'm going to just tell you that one's true. But now, what if we do the exact same thing, but just change one little thing. We'll take away the equal, oh, the greater than sign, and we will also do this one again, where we take away the equal sign. So if we just run this through, it's not going to work. Now, this isn't going to work because we're assigning 5 to 5. It's actually not doing anything, and the computer doesn't know what it's meant to put out on the screen in this case. So it's saying that this line's not going to work because our value required as left operand of assignment. So it's saying that this value needs to be something that it can deal with, but it can't. So we'll just go... We'll just get rid of this line. Now we'll run this again. So it should be 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, we'll take a look at the last two in particular. 5 is greater than or equal to 5, whereas 5 is greater than 5. Now, 5 isn't greater than 5, so that's why it's got a 0 as a response. But 5 is... Well, 5 is still not greater than 5, but 5 is actually, oh, 5 is equal to 5. Sorry, I was about to really condescend to you guys. I made a big mistake then. 
I'm just pointing out some of the stuff, making sure that you understand this now. Just basic stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. We'll be doing the same thing, but we'll actually be introducing variables. That's why we've got x, y, and we're also going to put in a nice little z. So when you see me next time, we'll continue off from here. So just remember to like and subscribe and uh, send me some comments telling me to stop saying so, so much.